is up and welcome back this is law of evolution and by now you could probably tell just by looking at the thumbnail what type of piece this is going to be okay it is a political piece and either you're going to love it or you're going to hate it right but just as a little bit of background about what's going on here me and my entire family are registered independents okay and what that means to us is that we research the issues and we make our decisions based on how we feel on those issues my family has voted republican and my family has voted democrat my family has voted for independence my family has voted for people in the green party so before people get in the comments and start talking about this that and the other just know that this is where we're coming from right now all right so now that that's out of the way all right this is a political piece and it, it the picture is worth a thousand words you could probably just look at it and see what i'm saying here the political parties in the united states are kind of a joke and that's exactly what i'm doing here is kind of poking fun at the dysfunction in the political parties in the united states of america so got that out of the way too right so now let's just talk about what's going on here this is actually one of my favorite pieces that i've done to date and i'm doing something a little bit different here that i've um that i think that i've ever done before because what i'm doing is once you see me get to the coloring portion of it i'm using different tools that i've never used before right and so i'm uh once you get to the coloring part you can see i'm using the the width tool and I'm um, putting my lines together in a different way that I haven't before and then when I go to coloring um, if you look back at all of the previous episodes that you see me using coloring before I've done all of my coloring using the pathfinder tool which if you pay attention it's not the easiest way to do coloring okay it's not the easiest way to do it at all and so what I did is I actually sat down I did my homework I tried to figure out the absolute best way to to get this done and so after a bunch of tutorials and after a bunch of stuff like that um, I learned a different way to get it done and so you'll be able to see me put that to work here in just a little bit um, but before I get too deep into all of that um, let me talk about something else really shortly um, I want to give a quick shout out to somebody okay and this person's name is Elias okay and Elias is an eight-year-old boy of a friend of mine um, and my friend's name is Dimitri and this eight-year-old boy it really this this entire story really touched my heart right because i do these videos and i make these episodes and i draw and i do this stuff on the computer and and, and i do it for me and i upload on youtube and i really don't care if people like it or if people hate it and but you guys actually enjoy it you tell me you enjoy it and, and i love that but the thing about elias is that he's really young he's an eight-year-old kid and his father is an artist, right? And so this is why me and Dimitri have a lot in common is because he's also an artist and you know we discuss different things. I post my images and my videos and he comments on them and stuff like that. And, and so what ended up happening is Dimitri's son, Elias, uh, Dimitri told me that uh, just a couple days ago that Elias actually was watching my videos and that it actually made dimitri happy because he wants his son to be more creative you know and so elias is actually watching the videos trying out some of the things that i'm doing in the videos and just you know like and that just blew me away that somebody so young was actually sitting down watching the videos in a tutorial fashion and just trying out some of the things that i was doing here and so i just really want to give a shout out to elias really quick and and this is directly to you elias never stop doing what you're doing never stop being creative even if you're drawing something or you're doing something on the computer and you don't think it's the best never stop doing it guys i started when i started drawing i was drawing stickmen 
<laughs> like I was, I was actually drawing stick man with a circle head and the five lines for the body and then next thing you know I was drawing stick man and I would put circle on their feet you know so it looked like they would have shoes on and then the stick man had it went from circles on their feet to having like little arms and then I started making them with action poses and then the stick man were like they were holding bats and they were fighting each other and they were in and next thing you know I was in the sixth grade drawing portraits of my teacher's children for them in an hour so all in all what i really want to say to elias especially being at the age where i really started drawing for the first time is just don't stop being creative don't stop drawing don't stop pushing yourself to do different things always seek to be better always push yourself to do different things and you really have a great dad because he's a very talented guy and he's really pushing for you to use your own talent in the way that you see fit so please elias thank you so much for watching my videos number one that i i promise you particularly i promise you that i'll never stop doing what i'm doing as long as you're watching I'll never stop drawing, I'll never stop uploading, and I'll continue to get better at what I'm doing because this this story in itself just touched me, right? And so I just wanna give a big shout out to Elias. And if you guys are watching or whoever's watching the video right now, take a second to just go down in the comment section, give Elias a quick shout out and just let him know because you guys have probably been through this type of stuff too in your life, you know, just don't stop and just give Elias some love. Just go down in the comment section and hey, say, man, shout out to the eight year old Elias, man. Thank you so much for checking the videos out. Give him a shout out in the comments and just let him know that, that you appreciate what he's doing too, right? And so I just wanted to say that real quick. Thank you to him. Thank you to his father, you know, for, for supporting me and supporting the channel and, and not only on YouTube, but on Facebook as well. I mean, he's a real supportive guy. So thank you to both of you guys. Dimitri Elias, man, I love you guys. Thank you for that. And so as you see, this is what I'm doing right now, what I was talking about in the beginning of the video. I'm using the knife tool to kind of slice out these sections of the drawing and recolor them in a way that I haven't done before. And so this is something that I just learned literally like in the last day or two. And so I'm, I'm always trying to get better. I'm always working on something to like um, increase the quality of my drawings and the quality of what I do in Illustrator. And it, it, it's worked right i mean i'm looking at it and i'm th and i'm like it worked because if you see in the beginning of the part when i started coloring i'm fumbling around i don't know exactly what i'm doing i'm like oh, i'm getting annoyed you know because it's not acting the way that i'm thinking it's supposed to act but by the time you see me get to the end of this coloring portion i'm moving i'm moving i'm hitting on all cylinders i'm not you know i'm not slow except for this part this part of the hair i don't know what the hell was going on but i'm you know and you know i feel so much more confident now that I'm finished with it than any point before before I started it you know I was sitting in the house and I was really wrecking myself because I was like how is he doing this what what the hell was going on in this tutorial why isn't this line doing what I wanted to do but now you can see I'm just all of my strokes are just planned and 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 sh it, I just got it together by the time I got to the end of it and so that's part of that's part of the whole thing with Elias is that I, I didn't have it together I didn't know what I was doing when I started it but by the time I got to the end of this I, I was so confident in what I was doing that you probably couldn't tell by looking at the end of the party. I'm not going to talk you guys' ear off. Um, I just wanted to give a shout out to Elias. Thank you, Dimitri. Thank you to everybody that's, um, you know, checking out the videos and, and supporting me. Thank you to my wife and my kids for staying quiet when I'm trying to record. And much love to them for being supportive when I just, when I sit in front of this thing for hours and hours and just kind of pour out, you know, my entire artistic ability onto this damn sheet of paper and into this computer you know what i mean so thank you all you guys i appreciate the love i appreciate the support don't forget to like the video don't forget to go into the comment section and give that eight year old boy this creative soul a shout out so maybe maybe he will look at that and really maybe it'll catapult him into doing more with his talent you know what i mean so thank you again guys it's a political piece love it or hate it but i actually love it because i think it is coming out pretty dope so subscribe to the channel if you guys are new thank you so much for checking out the video and i will catch you guys on the next one